Hey guys, welcome back. Kimmy Vapes here and today I've got three products lined up to review for you. I'm going to be reviewing the original Dead Rabbit 24mm RDA as well as the new challenge caps for the Dead Rabbit and also I have the Dead Rabbit SQ RDA to review. So let's go ahead, go down below, take a close look of them and then I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. Okay, so here we have the Dead Rabbit, the Dead Rabbit SQ, and the Challenge Cat Priest for the original Dead Rabbit. Let's go ahead and take a look at the original Dead Rabbit RDA first. So just take a look at the packaging real quick. On the back here, you'll see all of the specifications for the RDA. And let's go ahead and take a look inside the box. And I have the Dead Rabbit in the gold color. And the goodie bag. The goodie bag is going to come with an additional 810 drip tip, a 510 drip tip adapter, two hex allen keys, spare o rings, and you're also going to get four spare grub screws and a squonk pin. Take a look at the Dead Rabbit here. It comes with a colored acrylic drip tip. Now, I'm not sure if this color is specific to the color of the RDA or if you'll get a variation in colors uh, on the RDA. I know each RDA color does come with a different colored drip tip. I've seen a few pictures of other colors. Just not sure if all of the ones that come with the gold one will be this color of red. So here you can see that the Dead Rabbit logo is on one side and on the other side it is just blank. Each air slot is eight millimeter by two millimeter and you have a nice knurled adjustment airflow ring here at the top which allows you to close down the airflow so it does have single coil option where you can leave one side open and the other closed or you can adjust both sides. The RDA measures 24 millimeters. Taking a look at the bottom here, you'll see that it does have a very nice insulated gold plated 510 pin. And it is protruding, so it is hybrid safe. Now I do already have a build on in here because I have been vaping on it and I am really in love with this build. So I did want to take the build out to build a new one for you guys. But just to show you here the build deck, you'll see where the dead rabbit gets its name by the rabbit ear design of the posts. And the way that you build on this RDA is you will drop your coils in from the top and there is an area underneath the posts where you can clip your leads if they're a little too long which is nice because then it gives you a little leeway with your leads and you can guess a little more and they don't have to be as precise because you can get in from underneath and now like I said in the accessory bag it does come with a squonk pin and as you can see down there in the bottom there is a peak insulator block that comes up and what that does is it directs your e-liquid when squonking out into these juice wells on each side of the center so that when you squonk since your coils are fairly high up and that means your cotton's going to be fairly long. It makes sure that the e-liquid goes exactly where it needs to, right into those little juice wells uh, where your cotton is going to sit. And the positive post is gold-plated for conductivity. And then your negative post is just stainless steel, as well as the rest of the milled deck is stainless steel. Now the juice wall is measuring at four millimeters deep. It's not a very deep juice wall. However, taking a look at the caps, 
the top cap if you look on the inside you'll see that there is a bevel and that is where your deck will meet the top cap and that creates sort of a seal between the o-rings and because the airflow is so high up there on the cap you can actually squonk or drip quite a bit up that barrel and hold a lot of e-liquid in there uh, thanks to that bevel there and the o-rings creating a seal now of course if you do over squonk or over drip it's not going to leak out any air holes but you will find that you can't remove your top cap without some e-liquid spilling out if it is full of e-liquid let's take the top cap off here and take a look at the airflow ring so as you'll see with the airflow, they're eight millimeters by two millimeters, and the airflow is actually slanted downward. So it directs the airflow when, when you're vaping on it, it directs that airflow down at your coils, which produces really nice flavor. There's the inside, which is nice and domed, which also helps increase the flavor. And to line up your airflow, you just need to find where your coils are. I just look down the center and turn my top cap to where my airflow is facing directly across them coils. And that is the Dead Rabbit RDA. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Dead Rabbit Challenge Cap. Okay, so here is the challenge cap. This is the priest challenge cap. Taking a look at the packaging. Once again, you have the specs on the back of the box. And of course, your scratch and check also. Now, Hellvape has released two different challenge caps. You have the priest and you have the butcher cap. The one that I have is the challenge cap priest in copper. And the other one is the Butcher in Brass. And it has a different airflow from the Priest. So let's go ahead and open up the box and I'll show you the airflow on the Priest cap. So in the box, you're going to have a card which tells you more about the Priest cap. Uh, gives you a link to Vape and Heathen's channel where he talks more about the caps. On the other side, you have a saying for the Priest RDA cap. Put that aside, then you see here is the Copper Priest Challenge cap. And of course, this goes on the original Dead Rabbit, so it's going to be a 24 millimeter. On one side, you have the Dead Rabbit logo. But on the other side, you have the Challenge and the Priest logo. It comes with a matching copper knurled drip tip. The airflow on the challenge caps is non-adjustable, but there is knurling here on the top cap um, should you be turning it, though I don't really see why you would need to turn it once you place it on. Well, I can see one reason, and we'll talk about that here a little more. So the airflow on the priest cap is a series of of two rows of four holes, totaling eight holes in total, and they each measure two millimeter by two millimeter. And this is a dual airflow top cap only. Let's go ahead and take the original Dead Rabbit RDA and place the cap on it. So again, just like with the other top cap, I will line up my coils with the airflow and place the top cap on there and this top cap goes all the way to the bottom so all you see is that copper and not the stainless steel deck under there and just like with the other one because it does have a little notch for the deck that little stopping point and it's dual o-ring when you place the top cap on there if you over squonk or over drip you have quite a bit of space until you reach the air holes where you don't have to worry about really any leaking, even though it has a somewhat shallow juice well. So talking about why you might need that knurling on the top cap, even though it's non-adjustable, 
is sometimes my top cap might get off center from my coils and because there is no stopping point on the dead rabbit rda uh, i need to readjust my airflow to be lined up back over my coils so that knurling can help with gripping it and turning it to line back up with your coils so that is the Dead Rabbit RDA with the Priest Challenge Cap. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Dead Rabbit SQ. Okay, and here is the Dead Rabbit SQ 22mm RDA by Heathen and Hellvate. Same thing, looking at the back of the box, you'll see all the specs for the RDA and its contents. Taking a look inside the box, you're going to see a card that shows you the two different airflow options on the Dead Rabbit SQ. And on the other side, a link to Vape and Heathens YouTube. And then here I have the Dead Rabbit SQ in rainbow. It comes with a colored acrylic drip tip on top. On one side, it has the Dead Rabbit logo and nothing on the other side. The airflow is the same as the original Dead Rabbit, just shrunk down a little bit, just like the RDA. So the RDA is 22 millimeters, and as you can see, it does come with a squonk pin preloaded into it. So it is ready for squonking straight out of the box. Has that nice knurled top cap airflow adjustment there that we like so much with the original dead rabbit and then taking a look at the airflow you can turn it to a small single hole and that is the mouth to lung setting there and if we turn it back around you see the mouth to lung hole and keep turning it and then you open back up Inside the box is going to be a small container which comes with a bunch of accessories. Hellvape did really great at including a lot of accessories with these RDAs. In this one you're going to get two bags of accessories. You're going to get two Allen wrenches and one flathead screwdriver. And then in this baggie, you are going to get another 810 drip tip in black, a black mouth to lung 510 drip tip, and a 510 drip tip adapter, along with a regular 510 pin, spare grub screws, and spare O-rings. So lots of extras came with this one. Let's go ahead and screw this down on a mod so we can take a look at the deck. Okay, now that we have the dead rabbit on top of a mod, we'll take off the top cap, and you can see the deck here. And instead of two rabbit ears on each side, you have only two posts, one going in each direction. So the same rabbit ear design on the posts, you still have the space underneath that you can clip your leads, the same drop in through the top, style and then of course you have your peak insulator down there which just like the original dead rabbit has a juice flow section to direct the e-liquid straight to the juice well on each side and this one's juice well seems slightly deeper uh, at five millimeters deeper because we have this little bump up here. We'll see if my camera will focus for you. And you'll see there's a little notch on either side of the deck. And if we take a look at the inside of the top cap, you'll see that there is a cutout on each side of the top cap. And what that does is it locks your airflow alignment in place with your coils. 
So popping out the airflow adjustment ring here, you can see that same downward slotted airflow. And then new, we also have these little pinhole air slots, which are angled down as well for the mouth to lung option, which is really neat. And then of course, all of the Dead Rabbit RDAs are press fit. They have the O-ring on the inside. Now my O-ring, I'm not sure if it will show up on camera, but for my SQ O-ring, it's slightly torn in there. Now I haven't been using the stock drip tip that came with it. I have been using my own 810 drip tip, and that could be the reason for the tearing in that O-ring. Uh, so I may be needing to pull open my bag of spares here pretty soon to replace that O-ring. But so far I've had no problems with my drip tips being too loose or too snug. They fit in there fine. And I really love the anodizing on this rainbow. And I will go ahead and put up a flash of pictures of the different colors that you can get the Dead Rabbit RDA in. Now the O-rings on the original Dead Rabbit I found to be a little bit tighter than the O-rings on my SQ. Uh, the O-rings on my Dead Rabbit, I could pick it up by the cap and it wouldn't slip off like it just did there. With my Dead Rabbit SQ, I feel like the O-rings could have been a little bit tighter. The tolerances are just a little loose that if I were to pick up it with a dual battery mod like this, um, it would fall. Just a little bit of shaking and especially when there's e-liquid on the O-ring. So I would have liked to see those a little bit tighter. So let's go ahead and put a build in the Dead Rabbit SQ. So the coils that I will be using today are the Coilology Fused Clapton Stainless Steel 316. They are a three millimeter ID and should ohm out to 0.29 for a single coil. Now I will say with some of the Coilology Stainless Steel coils, they sometimes ohm out to be a little lower than what's marked on the container. So what I'm gonna do, cause I do want to be at about a 0.3 or maybe even a little higher, cause I actually plan on using this on a mechanical single battery squonk. So what I do is I just add a half wrap to each side and that also helps with not having to clip so much off of my leads since I wanted to ohm a little bit higher. So I won't have to clip my leads as short. And then I can just take, put my leads down into the holes. Now I will say, even though this is a top drop-in coil style with a opening underneath to clip your leads, um, if my leads are too long, there really isn't enough space on that deck for me to push them down. I end up really warping my coil if I try to push the leads straight down into it. So what I find that even with the opening at the bottom, if my leads are too long, there just isn't enough space and it's a very sharp angle that it warps my coil. So I just go ahead and do kind of a, not really thinking too much on it, just kind of guesstimating, looking at where I want my coils to be. And do a little snip. And then when I place my coils in, if my leads are coming down a little too long, let's see if I can get that to focus in there. Not sure if on this lens you're going to be able to see the leads poking out there. I really need a better macro lens for this. But if you can see that lead over there, I can go ahead and get my clippers under there and clip that lead off. Um, 
However, as long as it's not touching the bottom of my deck, I don't mind those leads being a little long. Now I'll just tighten up my leads. Okay, and that's coming to a 0.34. I'm nice and happy with that. My coil is glowing from the inside out, and I've strummed out all the hot spots, so now it's time to wick it up. Now, when it comes to cutting my wicks, I like the bottom of the wicks just to rest into the bottom of that deck. I don't want them laying down in the bottom of the deck, just letting it touch the deck so that it can soak up that e-liquid when I'm squonking. The e-liquid I'm using today is 50 Shades of Custard Cassandra Key Lime. I will line up those notches on the side there with my top cap. That way my airflow is positioned right where my coils are and we're ready to vape. Now I do have the squonk pin installed on here so I'm going to switch this over to my signature SQ signature mod and that has been my favorite pair up with this RDA. It fits nicely on the SQ, it's small enough that it doesn't overhang. I think it's just a nice single coil, good flavorful RDA to go on a little mechanical mod like this. Uh, it's been my favorite combo. So there you go. That is the look at the Dead Rabbit original 24 millimeter RDA, the Dead Rabbit challenge cap and the Dead Rabbit SQ. Let's go back up top and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on them. Okay, and that was an up and close of the Dead Rabbit RDA, the Challenge Cap, and the Dead Rabbit SQ. So what are my thoughts? Let's go with the Dead Rabbit original recipe first. So the Dead Rabbit was one of just a few RDAs in 2017 that really made a big splash. A lot of people really love the Dead Rabbit RDA, and for good reason. It's a great RDA. The post design makes building on it pretty simple compared to what I would say its you know predecessor is is the uh, postless style deck. So here we have what is sort of like a postless style deck in that you put your leads in from the top, but you have the added advantage with the dead rabbit that you can clip the leads underneath. However, I will say that I didn't find clipping the leads underneath uh, too easy when the legs were quite longer. I still had to pre-clip my leads before I put them in. Um, but still that style of dropping your leads down, I really do like, as in my other reviews that I've done of another RDA that utilizes that top lead feed-in system. Now, as far as the airflow on the Dead Rabbit, I find it very flavorful. Uh, the airflow as far as smoothness, I've had other RDAs that I feel are just a little bit smoother on the airflow for the way that I like to vape but it's not so much that it's loud or turbulent. I just feel there are maybe a few other RDAs out there with smoother airflow. Overall, the RDA's fit and finish is great. Everything on my RDA that I received, the machining was done very well. The O-rings were very nice. The drip tip options were really great. And of course, all of the accessories that you would expect to come with an RDA were included in mine, which I'm really happy with. Now, as far as some cons that I have for the RDA, 
Uh, one of my biggest cons for this RDA is probably a subjective con because for some people it doesn't really matter. For others, it's a necessity and I'm one of those that it's a necessity. And that is a notched deck or a locking system so as that the top cap doesn't spin freely. On certain devices, my base will really lock down onto the device and when I try to remove the RDA by grabbing the top cap, the top cap just spins and the RDA base gets stuck on my device, especially with hybrid mechs, which I use this one on a lot with the challenge cap. So I don't like that it spins freely and I wish they would have notched that deck, which I believe Billy in his own video said hindsight, um, he wishes he would have done that with this RDA. But it's not a killer as far as the RDA quality. Like I said, I get really great flavor, great cloud production. The airflow is smooth. Um, not the smoothest I've had, but is very smooth. So it's a great RDA all around. And that's really my only con for this RDA is that it doesn't lock into place, making it hard to get off of mods. And also, of course, when adjusting your airflow, the O-rings, when they're all juiced up, that whole barrel will spin sometimes. Now, onto the challenge cap. So I have the Priest challenge cap, which has the eight air holes, and I must say, this made me love the Dead Rabbit 24 millimeter. Like I said, the airflow on the Dead Rabbit's original design, I wasn't as big of a fan of as others, and there was really nothing wrong with the airflow. It just wasn't uh, airy enough for me, I guess you could say. Um, with the eight holes, it being non-adjustable, you definitely have to consider you must like a lot of airflow um, for this since there is no adjustment. You can't close down some of the airflows if you don't like wide open airflow. But having these eight holes made the airflow perfect for the way that I like to vape, especially again on my hybrid max when I'm running a nice hot build in there, all of that airflow hitting those coils just makes for a beautiful vape. And I truly love this combination of the Priest Challenge cap. And of course it's in copper, so it matches my Copper Dreamer, which has been my favorite combo setup to this day. This has not left my Dreamer mech mod. Now let's go on to the Dead Rabbit SQ. Again, another RDA that has just married a mod for me. It has been on my SQ mod since I got it. It is just perfectly matched with it. I love the rainbow color. I will include pictures of all the different colors of the RDAs available, as well as I'll include links down below as to where you can buy it. So the Dead Rabbit SQ has some improvements over the original Dead Rabbit. And that is, this one has a notch cut into the base so as that your top cap does not freely spin. And that solved all of my issues that I had with my Dead Rabbit. Now, of course, with the drop-in coils, design of the post it still isn't ex extremely simple as far as cutting your leads you still have to pre-cut your leads if they're extra long because it's a very sharp straight down and then it hits the deck so it, it doesn't really guide your leads out and i find it warps my coils if i just try to shove my leads straight down and bend them so i just do a little pre-cutting drop them in and if my leads are a little too long it's no big deal because there's extra space under those posts and that is a beautiful thing about that style of dropping your leads down from the top in squonk mode this thing shines on a single battery squonk setup of course you can run it on dual battery um, different sizes of batteries i just like it so much because it is single coil when you're running a single 18650 you can't build super low so being that this is super co single coil you can build higher up in ohms you get a beautiful flavorful vape that same classic airflow design that the original dead rabbit has with that diagonal downward slotted airflow and also they added in a mouth to lung option now i have tried the mouth to lung option with the small hole and the 510 drip tip 
But for me and the way they are like to vape, it wasn't really my style. However, I will say for a mouth to lung RDA, it did really well as a mouth to lung RDA. Just not quite my style. I build a little too low, I think, for it to do mouth to lung fairly well on this. Overall, I'm extremely happy with both my original Dead Rabbit with the challenge cap and my Dead Rabbit SQ. And these are two RDAs that are in my daily rotation and are married to mods that I truly enjoy to vape. So if you like this video, you guys, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, don't forget to hit the notification icon so you get updated when I release my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.